Hey guys, it's Olivia and I'm back with another video. So I'm pretty sure most of us know the app Musical.ly and if you don't know what Musical.ly is, it's an app where people lip sync to songs. Imagine dub smash except more camera movements. And this is not me hating on anybody who uses Musical.ly. I use Musical.ly and I would tell you to follow me except why follow me on an app that has died? And this is kind of a foreshadowing. I don't think Musical.ly is quite dead yet, but I think it has about three more breaths before it dies, like <sighs> dead. Like Musical.ly is gonna be dead before the end of this video. And I'm gonna tell you why. But before we get into this week's video, be sure to subscribe to my channel because I make new videos every Monday. I make anywhere from topic videos like this to pop socket videos to how to make money online videos. And with all that being said, let's get into this week's video. So Musical.ly died because of an update. And apps update all the time. There's always bug fixes and little tweaks and all that stuff. But sometimes they just give you something that you didn't ask for. And that's exactly what Musical.ly did. And one of the biggest reasons I think this update angered so many people, other than the fact that the update is terrible, is that they didn't tell people that they were updating the app. And I don't mean they need to be like, oh, um, is it okay with you guys if we like make an update? Like, no, it's your app, you can update it whenever you want. But I don't know if this works the same for the Google Play Store, but with the App Store, if you have an app to be updated, you go to the App Store, you go to Updates, and then you can scroll through all your apps that need updating, and you can expand it so that it gives you a description of what is going to be included in the update. Do you wanna know what their update said? Their update said, play Gaga dance with your friends on Musical.ly. Got favorite sounds? Now you can save them to your own collection. Now you can try our new creative face masks with your cat. So that update is saying, hey, there's a new contest on Musical.ly. Now you can save your favorite sounds and you can use filters with your pets. So you're like, okay, that's cool, update. And then you update the app, you open the now updated app, and the whole user experience is different. So I feel like that's a very big reason. They didn't tell people what they were going to get and kind of tricked you into updating the app by basically saying, oh, you wanna participate in our contest? Update the app, but we're not gonna tell you that we're changing the whole entire app. They basically tricked a bunch of people into updating their app. And now I'm gonna tell you the three main things that they changed. They changed literally everything, but these are the three main things that they changed that led to the death of their app. They changed private videos, they changed the leaderboard, and they changed the camera. So number one, private videos. Private videos used to be a Musical.ly that you filmed and you just saved it as private and only you could see it. Now they have changed private videos to drafts. And you might just say, it's just a different name. They're basically synonyms, both incomplete videos that you're not ready to post, right? Wrong. With private videos, you used to be able to go to the bottom right corner and that would show you what song was used on that private video. So let's say you found a really cool sound, but it was late at night, so you just film a quick video, whatever, whatever. You save it so that in the morning when it's bright, good lighting, blah, 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 all that good stuff, you're gonna make your actual music that you're gonna post. Now, when you save that video as a draft, the song isn't linked with it. So if you wanna find that song again, let's say you found that song on someone's profile. You have to go to their profile and then scroll through other music leads to find the one with that song. That just made your life a whole lot harder. Number two, the leaderboard. So the leaderboard was basically showing you the top 150 people on the app from the previous day. And in the earlier days of Musical.ly, there was the leaderboard for your country and the leaderboard for the world. Then they expanded it because they created different categories. So there was 
leaderboard for fashion, leaderboard for DIY, music, talent, vlogs, everything. If there was a category for it, there was a leaderboard for it. So you could be the top 150 people in your country, in the world, or in one of those categories. And that's how a lot of people got found. Because think about it, if there's 100 million people on this app and you're one of the top 150, people are gonna find out who you are. But now that feature no longer exists. There was literally no leaderboard. So you could have gotten 13 million likes yesterday, which would most likely make you the top person in the world. But no one's ever gonna know. And number three, they changed the camera. So if you've watched any Musical.ly tutorial, they always say to film on fast. Basically, it plays the song in slow motion, that way you can get all the words right and you can do all your camera movements. And then after the video saves, it speeds it back up to real time. But there were many options to film. There was epic, slow, normal, fast, and lapse. So now they've changed it to 0.1 times, 0.5 times, one times, two times, and three times. So it's basically the same thing, different speeds, shouldn't really make a difference. But it's not just, oh, they changed it from words to numbers and everyone's annoyed. The way the camera looks looks so artificial for lack of a better word so the two times is now in the same spot as where fast used to be so you would think oh i'm gonna film a musically i'll film it in two times but it doesn't look the same i don't know how to explain it i'll have to show you I still have the old Musical.ly app on my old phone, so I'm gonna film a Musical.ly on there and then film a Musical.ly with the new app on my current phone and show you a comparison side by side. And we're not comparing camera quality. One of them's an iPhone 5S, one of them's an iPhone 6. So I don't know about you, but the new Musical.ly looks weird. It looks too fluid. It looks too smooth. And you might think that being smooth isn't a bad thing, but for some reason it is and it just looks weird. So why are these three things the biggest factor of why Musical.ly died? With them changing privates to drafts, that just makes the whole user experience more difficult. It's like back when Snapchat had their update and people couldn't find this and that. I don't know what they couldn't find. I don't use Snapchat, but people were upset about that. And a lot of people did move over to Instagram stories. No, Snapchat is not dead, but some people did leave because the user experience became something that they weren't accustomed to. With them changing the leaderboard, some people might just be on Musical.ly because they want to get discovered. They want to get discovered for their mad lip syncing skills. But now that has more or less been taken away because the leaderboard is how people got discovered. They also have features, but I've noticed that they've been featuring people less and less. And some people might just use Musical.ly for fun. Changing the camera makes it not fun because your musicallys aren't gonna look as good as they used to. Another thing I've noticed with the camera is there's a slight delay between when you like put your finger on the screen to start recording and when it actually starts recording. So now your lip syncs might be out of sync because of that delay. So it, your videos aren't showing up as good as they used to so it's not as fun anymore. So because of all these changes, it has made a lot of the smaller people leave. If you were there for the easy user experience, that's gone. So some of you are gone. If you were there to get discovered and now that's basically not gonna happen anymore, you're gone. If you were there just because it's super fun and now it's not fun anymore, now you're gone. And by losing the smaller musers, you lose the bigger musers. Why? Because the smaller people are the fans of the bigger people. So when your fans leave, there are people who have 20 million plus followers and they would get between one and three million likes per post. And now they're getting 100,000. 
while 100,000 likes is still a lot of people double tapping their screens, 100,000 versus 3 million. So a lot of these big musers are saying, my Musical.ly is dead. So now they're leaving. So all the other people that were left, the people who stuck around through the bad user experience, stuck around through them taking away the leaderboard, stuck around through them changing the camera and making every video look bad. Well, now they're gone because the people who they watch are gone. So they lost a lot of people because of the update. And having those people leave means that the bigger people aren't getting as many likes as they used to. So now they left. And so all the people that are left now have no more videos to watch. Therefore, they're gone and now you've lost 100% of the people. By losing the little guy, the big guys don't have fans anymore, so they're gone. And then all the 100,000 people that were left and were double tapping, well now, they're gone. So now you have literally nobody left on your app. And one more thing. I feel like Musical.ly has tried to save their butt with this newest update that came out four days ago on August 2nd, 2018. Musical.ly is no longer named Musical.ly anymore. It's called TikTok. So basically, last year Musical.ly was bought out by a company and they owned another platform called TikTok. So you know how I said there's over 100 million users on Musical.ly, but now they're all gone because small people left, which made big people leave, which made the rest of the small people leave, right? So let's say TikTok has 200 million people, right? So they're like, oh, there's 100 million people on Musical.ly. There's 200 million people on TikTok. Now we fuse them together. Now we have 300 million people. No, because all the people from Musical.ly are gone. What even is TikTok? I don't know what TikTok is. I haven't updated my app to TikTok because at least that update they informed us of. So I ain't updated my app to TikTok, but I'm pretty sure that TikTok is not lip sync videos. So it's basically called TikTok with Musical.ly, like TikTok with Musical.ly. So it's not even Musical.ly anymore. The main point of the platform isn't to lip sync anymore to my knowledge. So them trying to revamp Musical.ly by saying, oh no, you can still get discovered. We're gonna expose your content to 200 million more people by fusing these platforms. It's not gonna work because now that's not the main point of the platform. So they tried to revive themselves. They tried to resuscitate their dead app and hate to break it to you, but it didn't work. This is one thing I'm gonna say, and this applies to every app and website and social media platform. Nobody asked for an update, so don't update it. It's really that simple. Nobody asked Musical.ly to change all these things. Nobody asked Musical.ly to fuse with TikTok. Everything was fine. You had over 100 million users. Clearly you were doing something right. This is what I think. I think companies are just too busy trying to make money. So like, oh my gosh, it's already good, but we can make it better. And by trying to make it better, you ended up making it worse. And now guess what? Your app's dead. Literally, if it ain't broke, don't fix it because by trying to fix it you end up breaking it but yeah so that's this video that's why musically died i just felt the need to talk about it because of that update that came out four days ago and everyone was freaking out about it and there was some speculation that all your musicals were going to get deleted because it's no longer a lip sync app and all this stuff was just coming up again and I am a person who uses Musical.ly so I was like this is relevant to me it's probably relevant to some of you so I'm gonna talk about it but as I said Musical.ly isn't quite dead yet but when it does die you're gonna come back to this video and be like oh my gosh Olivia was so right so <laughs> yeah this is basically my prediction of how Musical.ly is going to die if it isn't already dead
But that's all for this week's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you think your friends will enjoy it, be sure to share it with them. All my social media links will be down below in case you want to follow me on there. Be sure to subscribe to my channel because I make new videos every Monday. And I'll see you next Monday with a new video. Basically, when you film on fast, it plays this long, this long, that is not a word. So, it just started pouring. I'm gonna need this rain to not do that. Be sure to subscribe to my channel because I make new, that's upside down. <laughs> Did you see the lights flicker? power going out while I'm trying to film a video. Rude.